having a stage name can help you stand out from the crowd, knit in to your niche and establish your brand. That's what we talk about today in today's tutorial from Open Mic UK on artist development. Bono, Pink, Prince, Bjork, Lady Gaga, even Elton John and Freddie Mercury, all stage names. They're very distinctive, they're very unique, and it helps them just establish themselves in their niche and their brand. What your name is can directly affect how you are perceived in your niche and with your music. Some of the industry's largest names will use their own name. Adele, Taylor Swift, Beyonce. However, there are many that make up stage names to help elevate their brand or to make it all about themselves and their music. Some noticeable names such as Nicki Minaj, Lady Gaga, Maya, Cardi B, Katy Perry, Birdie and Jessie J, all names that no doubt you've heard of are all stage names. Now picking a stage name allows you to separate your personal life with your professional life. Kind of screen in which if you're fine with your personal life also being all about you and your music, then using your name is fine. But if you want to put that slight separation between you and your brand, then maybe a stage name will help you. And here are eight tips in how to pick that specific, very special stage name just for you. One, create a stage name and a persona to match. As well as creating something distinctive, a stage name gives you a chance to create a persona, something that you specifically slip into when you're performing. Immersing yourself inside that alternative identity can be a good way to unlock your mind or get you into that mindset when performing. Maybe even lifting you to a more engaging performance on stage. For some singers, it can make all the difference David Jones was incredibly shy, but you would never have guessed that when he performed as David Bowie. So pick a stage name that brings out the inner you and amplifies the performer in your heart. Consider a stage name with branding. Creating your own brand is a key part of marketing anything, let alone yourself in music. Your chosen name or your real name will be front and center in anything that you create. So give a lot of thought to it, to what it might say about you or your music. As Ben Wardle, a music writer, explains, your name or band name should be just like a book or a movie title and should kind of hint at what's inside. Knowing your audience is key. Research successful artists on what to expect from a name or from a brand within your niche. Three, pick a marketable name. Imagine I'm a promoter and I'm, I'm looking to promote your music and your brand. I'm really excited, I really love the sound, and then you tell me that your name is what now? I can't even say that in public, that's outrageous. You need to make sure that the promoter is excited to hand out your flyers, that he's comfortable handing out flyers with that name, your name, your brand. That one I'll put it in big letters, big billing on their flyer and spend money on printing those just for you to promote your geek. So your stage name should make an impact in a positive way. Don't get me wrong, there are plenty of singers out there that have made fame and a lot of money out of being offensive, but they're definitely the exception and not the rule. Being distinctive doesn't necessarily mean being crude. You might be tempted to try something incredibly obscene just to get noticed, even if it isn't offensive. But that can be very hit or miss, especially if it doesn't knit well with your genre. Four, pick a name that is memorable. Lordy, Rihanna, Adele. They're single worded and they're quite simple, easy to remember. They also seem to be all the rage at the moment, one single word names. And finding a single word might seem easy to summarize yourself, but it might be harder than you think. I mean, you also have to factor in that that one single word could be owned by anybody on the planet and you kind of have to get there first. It's doable, but don't make any rash decisions. Five, stage name generator. Now there's a link in the description down below. It's a name generator that can maybe help you go with it. It's a good way of throwing ideas out there, either inspiring you into an idea or hinting at something that you might like. It might spark something or it might just make you chuckle. Once you've found something that you like, Try it with your audience. See how it resonates with the people that already love you and your music. Six, be unique, but don't push it. Atlas might seem a great name for a stage performer until you take into account that there's about 50 other people with a similar name already doing a similar job. In fact, 50 of them are already registered on Bandcamp at a quick search. And remember, it's not just Bandcamp 
that you're competing with, it's the rest of the world as well. 7.4 billion other people on this planet, I think it's about 7.4 now. If a new fan types that name into a search engine, will they find you or are you competing against other people? Because if you're competing against other people, you're already losing some of the traffic that you could have with a unique name. You need to stand out and your brand needs to be unique to you. You don't want them typing in your name and finding some shoe company or a sandwich shop somewhere in Australia. But on the other hand, you don't want to go too far out of the way that you're using different spelling and then it confuses people and then they hear the name Atlas and then you've spelled it with a Z and four Ps. Now it's confusing. You want to make sure that you're easy to remember easy to find and easy to track down. Seven, brainstorm ideas. This is a decision that you won't want to rush. This could form your career for the rest of your life. So scribbling down ideas and mulling them over is definitely definitely important. Even if the names seem terrible whilst you're scribbling them down, just getting them out of your head might help you go through the whole naming process. It kind of rules them out or you can hear them, it gives them air and then you can find a better one. Eight, get some feedback. Once you think you've finally hit the nail on the head and you're ready to make a decision, start testing that stage name with some specially selected friends. You might be confident that you found the right stage name, but they might find a thing that you may have overlooked or a niche or an angle that you may not have considered. However, if you ask for feedback, be prepared to actually consider it. Because if you're just standing there and fighting your corner that you're not actually listening to a constructive criticism base, you might just double down and dig deep and fight your case when they're making a valid point. Have you nailed it? Have you decided? You finally, finally hooked on an idea. Now make sure you go and collect all of the profiles on the social media platforms that you need to. Now, speaking from my own heart as a social media consultant and a YouTube certified expert, I know how annoying it can be that you type in your name and somebody else has beaten you to it or they've got the most important accounts. In fact, I've been fighting with this dude in Australia over my name for about eight, 10 years. And slowly over time, I developed kind of a, a niche around it where I'd add like a couple of letters like YT for Alan Spicer YT. So for the love of all that is music, make sure that you grab every social media account that you think is worthwhile that is relevant to you. YouTube, SoundCloud, Instagram, Twitter. Have a look at Bandcamp, have a look at MySpace if it's not dead yet. TikTok. Try and grab the .com for your web address as well. So I've got alanspicer.com. You can find these very easily by using one of the links in the description down below or going to something like names.com and typing them all in. And remember, once you've made that decision, stick with it because changing your decision part way through can not only hurt your momentum, but your brand and be so much harder to kind of turn around and try a different brand name. Remember your stage name can make a real difference. So give it some real thought. It must make you stand out. It must help you within your niche. It must be easy for fans to track you down and be easy for a promoter to put your name on a flyer and push it out there without any fear or niggling in the back of their head. Then all you have to do is worry about your performance. Make sure that you are perfect. Make sure your voice is okay. If you need tips on how to eat and drink better or how to fix a raspy voice, there's a video here and a playlist here.